So what's great about Cabbage is we actually have our customers connect us directly to the data that they use every day to run their business. Have you ever logged in with Facebook to a third party site? Mm -hmm. It's effectively what our customers do and they log us in effectively to all the data sources that relate to how they run their business. So think of their banking, their accounting, their web analytics, their I can't believe they shipping. let you see all that, have access to all that. Well, it's, look, it's a read-only access, and what we are able to do is actually pull down that data and give them a fully automated experience as a result. So you ask three questions, and the algorithm either says yes or no to as much as a $250,000 loan wow. for that small business. Now, I can really hear fast. Barney Frank out there somewhere saying it shouldn't be that easy <laughs> to get a loan because that's how we got ourselves in trouble to begin with 10 years ago. Well, you know, I think what we got ourselves in trouble with was not having the kind of data we needed, not really understanding the business. The beauty of data and big data, although that term is often misused and overused, is that you can actually learn a lot about a very specific subject in a very short time. So a small business owner lands on our site and they have a decision and they actually have cash on its way within seven or eight minutes. Wow. That's how fast. Now think about that from a banking standpoint, a traditional banking. That usually takes six or seven weeks to get to typically a no. And we usually say yes to our small business. I was going to say, what is the acceptance rate? Very, very high. If you're actually running uh, a business and generating at least $5,000 a month, we typically have approval rates that are above 75 or 80 percent. And what's the default rate? Especially, you know, this has come up lately. Mm -hmm. The consumer credit card data in the first quarter showed some of the higher default rates, especially for young people, right. 18, 29, and seven years. So there's some questions about that at a macro level, but how are your own default rates? Actually, our rates are great. They're, they're in the mid single digits around between five and six percent. And in fact, that's come down tremendously over the last few years. And that's during a time right now we're growing 50 percent year over year um, on a pretty big number. And we're actually seeing the performance improve of our customers. Now, that's a combination of a strong economy. It's a combination of just great small businesses and really our data chops working and really understanding the data that we brought on over the years. And our customers not only give us access to that data at the moment that they qualify, but we stay connected to that data. So we understand how that business is performing, not just at that time, but all points thereafter. You making any money? We are. We are. I think we're are you uh, profitable. Yes. yes, we are. Cash flow positive. Valuation here, it says over a billion dollars. Is an IPO coming? Um, uh, you know, billion dollar question or more than a billion dollar question. You know, I think we have to figure out the right time to do that. You know, the beauty of, of the business we've been able to build, the investor um, representation we have is we have the freedom to, to make that decision at the right time. Um, right now, we're really focused on serving our customers in a much broader way. So we've been providing them with capital for the last several years, and now we're actually expanding our services. We're offering them payment acceptance services. So moving sort of into competition with companies like Square and PayPal now.